There can be no justice for human beings unless there is justice for women. And there can be no justice for women unless they are equally in the leadership of everything. Business, trade unionism, work. They are not penalised and bullied and threatened and have violence visited upon them for no other reason that women are seeking the same rights that every human being deserves. So this is the challenge for working men and women of the ITF to make up for those 75 years where there was no women's committee, to accelerate the process of engagement and involvement and ownership and leadership in the International Transport Workers Federation by women on an equal basis. It started here with your union, with the wonderful Ekaterina, with the leadership of Diana, with the determination of people like Christine Baylor and many of the other women that have been mentioned by Ekaterina, had determined they wanted a new ITF. An ITF for all human beings that recognise the importance and the threats that women are on in their daily working lives and also nurturing their families. We made great gains here for women and for young workers. We make great gains in Singapore, but the job needs to be finished. And as we go to Marrakesh in this Congress, let's all of us and all of those women and working men and people of the ITF that are out there and the international trade union movement, let's determine that we make Marrakesh the next big step to equality and recognition of women in leadership roles. Thank you very much. <laughs>